Hello and welcome to Mike Dunn Film Reviews. I am Mike Dunn and as you can plainly see I have in invested in a microphone after quite a lot of uh, you well, watchers out there told me that the worst thing about it was uh, not the reviews but the sound quality, thank god. So um, I've invested in this and hopefully this is going to make things a bit better. Um, I'm not going to review Woman in Black or Muppets yet with this because it may <laughs> screw up. So I'll just do Man on a Ledge. Um, Man on a Ledge stars Sam Worthington, Ed Harris, Jamie Bell. It's like a, a heist movie, but done in this kind of phone booth style way. Um, Sam Worthington plays a escape convict who stands on a ledge. He's the self-titled Man on a Ledge, um, and like grounds the city to, to a to a standstill and gets everyone's attention while his brother tries to steal a priceless diamond from the guy who set up Sam Worthington. As he's doing this, there's a big load of corruption in the police, as like Ed Harris is like a really big businessman who owns the police, and um, it's just Sam Worthington trying to do what's right and trying to prove that Ed Harris framed him. Um, oh, this film just made me want to watch Phone Booth, because Phone Booth is a much, much better film. Um, Sam Worthington just doesn't have the charisma to carry off this. He's 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 made a career out of being James Cameron's pick for Avatar, and it's slowly coming to an end. I feel unless he does something quite astounding, apart from Wrath of the Titans, it's coming out. Uh, I didn't actually see the debt when it came out, so I don't know if he was any good in that, but I. I doubt it because he didn't really blow me away in Terminator Salvation and Avatar. He's he was mainly CGI in that film anyway, so he, he didn't really grab me in the lead. Well, he wasn't Colin Farrell in Phone with charismatic as you'd hope. He was just oh my god, no lunch. Yeah, I'm gonna jump. Oh yeah, you better stop me. Oh god, yeah, I'm gonna jump. But it's none of the passion and intrigue that Colin Farrell actually brings. Jamie Bell is fine as the brother who's heisting the diamond. Ed Harris is wasted. And the entire other storyline just didn't need to be there. Fair enough, it's a nice little plot to reveal like halfway through that you didn't actually know. But the the, the entire thing is just like shown to the audience and it's just like, ooh, look, they're actually doing something. Oh, look at that. He's it's all a big ruse. But it would have been a much better thing if like it's like the first half of the film is about him trying to like be coaxed back on to the well back off the ledge and then oh crap it's actually because of that oh yeah that would have been a much better thing but no it, they took it and just went yeah we're gonna let you in on it just to let you just because yeah, uh, yeah that's cool isn't it yeah. elizabeth banks is in it as like a disc a, a, a great uh, a disgraced um negotiator who doesn't really need to be in it Ed Burns is in it for no reason as well, apart from to bust chops and just be like the bit of a dick police officer that he can be, and uh, it just falls apart in the last in the last third as well. The first third is all right because it just basically sets up the premise, and you think, oh, this is going to be all right, and then it just kind of falters in the middle, and then just uh, by the end, it's just like, yeah, sod it, we'll just do this instead, and they just go, oh, crap, right, okay. Um, I wouldn't recommend it at all. Um, potential, but waste of potential. And hopefully the microphone stood up in this review. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll uh, see you again soon.